Yeah, we're inside the last 20 minutes of the Sportsmax Zone for this Wednesday. Four of Europe's top five leagues are currently on break for the festive season. But not the English Premier League. The holiday action is coming fast and furious with match day 19 starting on Boxing Day. Liverpool moved two points clear of Arsenal atop the table after beating Burnley 2-0. Darwin Nunes in the sixth minute and Diego Jota in the 90th minute securing maximum points for Jurgen Klopp's men. Also on Boxing Day, Manchester United registered a thrilling come from behind 3-2 win against high-flying Aston Villa. Villa went 2-0 up with John McGinn and Leander Bendonker netting in the first half. However, a double from Alejandro Garnacho and uh, that happened in the 59th and 71st minutes brought the Reds level before Rasmus Hoyland completed the comeback with an 82nd minute strike. Other results on Wednesday. Let's have a look at them now. Bournemouth 3-0 over Fulham. Sheffield United beaten at home 3-2 by Luton. We said Liverpool over Burnley and United over Aston Villa. And there was a 3-1 win for Nottingham Forest over Newcastle. Now, action continued today with three games. And here are those results. Brentford 1, Wolves 4, Chelsea 2, Crystal Palace 1, and Manchester City coming from behind to beat Everton by three goals to one. Three unanswered uh, second half goals by Man City. When we were getting ready to come on to the show, Ricardo, um, Everton had been leading Man City 1-0 uh, up to the half-time break. But in a flash in the middle of the second half, Man City had taken things over. Yeah, and a very important victory for Manchester City because um, there was the possibility of them going eight points behind and yes. um, Liverpool had they not won today's game. So, really good win. Yeah, and Arsenal, of course, idle over uh, the Boxing Day and today's midweek fixture. So, um, that gave uh, the opportunity for Liverpool to go ahead. Arsenal playing later this week. Um, Brent Sancho is about to talk to us now about what he has seen over the holiday weekend. And um, the Liverpool fans, uh, Brent, have a lot to smile about at the moment. Yeah, Santa Claus came to, to Anfield, didn't he? And, 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 he, uh, he, and, he and, and he wears red. And he wears red, of course. Yeah, yeah. He just had to put the arm line on his, on his left patch of his, of his Santa outfit <laughs> and he brought points with him. Most importantly, and look, this this is a type of uh, time of the year where it's so important for teams to, to get points to make sure that uh, they, they they especially the top teams that they continue to forge ahead. And Liverpool was able to do that. It's a, it's a time of the year as well, gentlemen, and, and of course all the viewers, where uh, we've seen teams that uh, are you know go, going into this as possible contenders slip away and become pretenders because it's it's a very difficult time with a lot of short uh, time turnover in terms of games. Uh, the amount of matches, the depth in squad is important. Uh, being able to, to compo co maintain your composure in winning games and being able to get results throughout this Christmas period is extremely critical. Uh, and so far, Liverpool have held their new move. Yeah, um, of course, we're going to talk about City United and, and Chelsea in a moment. But Arsenal play West Ham on Thursday and the opportunity for them to reclaim the lead almost immediately. Yeah, and they've been in, they've been in decent form. They've uh, been able to, to of course, uh, despite uh, showing little bulging and, and buckling uh, in the Arsenal team. And again, I've, I've said this many times, I still don't think they have the metal and the steel to win a title. They, they always seem to... Uh, be there and thereabouts, but to actually go on and win an EPL, uh, the characteristics in terms of leadership within the squad, I've always questioned, and I still do question this season. However, they've they've done they've done moderately well, and I think this is is going to be a, a difficult ask for them throughout this uh, Christmas season, leading into January, and whether or not they can continue to push on. But uh, it's uh, it's uh, been it's been decent around the, uh, around the results for them, despite the fact that. One or two of their top players in particular, Odegaard, have not been uh, on his uh, game as much as we've seen in the past. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, it's really about other contributors coming in and being able to, to do it for Arsenal. Yeah, I, I suggest to you, Brent, that you've just infuriated the Ar Arsenal fans by saying that they have done moderately well. That, that's not fair, is it? Well, it's fair when it comes to Arsenal, and, and at the end of the day, they've been doing moderately well since uh, since going back to the Patrick Vieira days. And it's simply because I just don't think that they have the metal to win things, and and it's not it's not necessarily a knock on Arsenal it's because I think the squad that they have, they should be doing so much more, uh, and and really blowing away this league and 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 taking Man City and Liverpool for a run as it relates to points. But they, they don't, don't they? They, they, they? they flatter to deceive. They get to those positions. Last season we saw it, they were leading. 
around Christmas time last season. And then they went in when it really mattered, when they really needed results, when they really needed to win football games, they buckled it. Uh, and so I can only go off from what I've seen in the past and I've seen this year after year after year, uh, just only because last year they were in pole position to win. Uh, that's why I'm making those statements that I am now. Yeah, Brent, but I, I would still suggest to you, though, that um, and I understand the point that you've made about Arsenal teams in the past, but there is a general feeling that this Arsenal team has some of the leadership that you're saying they, 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 they don't have, which is why you aren't backing them. And there's something different about the team this year. No, there's, look, they, they are getting results. There's no doubt about it. They continue to get results despite what I've, I've, I've just mentioned. But at yes. the end of the day, as I said, to win an EPL, you, you need a certain amount of metal. And, yeah. and I think when the going gets tough, Arsenal gets going. And, okay. and that's the problem I have. All right, and very, very quick comments on, on City's win today coming from behind and Man United with a thrilling win at Old Trafford. Look, I think City is only going to start going up and up. And we know there's a point in this season where they start turning the, the, the heat on and start winning games in succession and start going on long winning streaks. And I feel like they're starting to, to come into them. What I've been impressed with Lance, uh, of course, and Ricardo, is the young players in the academy who've come in and filled the boots and have done a, a particularly good job from a Manchester United perspective. Mm. It's so difficult to, to peg Manchester United simply because we're judging them now really on one half of football because the first half against Aston Villa was absolutely abysmal. They were able to turn things around in the second half and we all sit here hoping that they are going to turn their season around. But we also felt that way when they beat Chelsea. We thought, look, this could probably be where Manchester United turned things around. It's just, mm. it's just so difficult to forecast for them. But if you go on what we've seen in the past from Manchester United, you would feel that you, you need to see at least three, four games of that sort of level in the second half. Yes throughout the season for yeah. us to be convinced that they're turning the corner. All right, Brent, we're going to leave it there. A lot more football yeah. to come for the remainder of the season in the coming months into the new year. Always a pleasure talking to you. All right, guys, have a great one. Yeah, and I, I think Ricardo had a quick comment. I, I'm not sure if it's about Man United. Why do you think I have a comment, Lance? I got that impression based on your body language. Your impression was wrong. Oh, it was? Yes. So I should go to the break then? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Back with more in the zone after this. <laughs>